Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be introducing a new series called Aquatic Craft Alert. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this? What series is this? Well, it's uh, just a series where I tell the news of Aquatic Craft. So, we actually got quite a bit for the first week ever of Aquatic Craft Alert. And uh, for this week, let me go ahead and um tell you what's been happening so you gotta we have a tim the flower tournament coming this friday an update coming soon and i am super excited about that by the way we just have some gameplay happening in the background because yeah uh, aquatic craft almost had to change their name yeah that's yeah but we'll get to uh, we'll get to that soon but first we gotta talk about the tournament the Tim the Flower Tournament. Now, if you don't know who Tim the Flower is, he is basically, he's a flower that you can get in the uncommon crates. And he has knocked back 16. It's really overpowered. And me and my co-op member, De Deckmeister, or one of the co-op members, I have multiple. Um, our, me and him are hosting the event. And it's happening this upcoming Friday. All the details on on that I'm gonna say it right now. So it's gonna be happening at 3 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, the 27th of uh, November 2020, and you have to have a Tim the Flower to compete in the tournament. Uh, now the rules will be explained during the tournament. But now let's move on with the news. Uh, we have recently just got word of what the new update or the 0 0.8 update will be. It's going to be a farming update. And apparently Aqua has been... Uh, Aqua, the owner of uh, Aquaticraft, is working very hard on this update. And so, um, I'm super excited for it. Farming might be the most overpowered method a money making method by the time the update comes out so might as well get your farming minions ready also get your potatoes ready because there's about to be a new technoblade in town uh, uh let's go to some new news about of how aquaticraft almost got changed back to gd network well you guys probably were in the server when this when aquaticraft was named gd network well because like i wasn't even there either but it used to be named gd network after the corner gd and um he would did you guys just see how i fell in the background <laughs> he uh it, it, they disbanded that and just made aquatic craft it almost got changed Aquaticraft was going to move to a whole different server thing. Everything was going to change, but then the owner and co-owner changed their mind and went, and the server was saved. So, good news, folks, that server is still here. On to the next news. So, apparently, all staff uh, names like admin, co-owner, stuff like that, was all changed to just staff. So. If you go into the server, I have no screenshots of it right now, but if you go into the server and you see a staff member on, the rank will just say staff, which is a little weird, but sure. Another piece of the news today is, is that we have a new rank in town, Bedrock Rank, a monthly rank that you can buy. And with that rank comes with a new uh, uh, feature that Bedrock Rank and Up get, so obviously I get it too. You can change the color of your text and chat. That's right. If you do slash color, if you do slash color, you can easily change your the color in your chat to whatever you want. Now, here's the problem. I really think they're gonna remove it because it's just pay to win. Well, how could it be? Well, I mean, you can change the color of your text. Which, if you're advertising your auction and your text is a color that's that like makes it to where more people will see it better because like it's a different color and it's not just like gray or something like that 
It's like really bright and like catches the eye a little. Yeah, um, that's a little, uh, that's a little much to the advantage. So if I were to advertise my auction that I have up right now, which is looting a th looting three book, um, it would, it w and there was a ton of people on, and I were to do that with a red color or a bright color. A lot of people would see it, and it would help advertise it better. Also, apparently, the next updates, the next few updates will be coming very er, quickly. Because, um, 1.0, uh, the version that gets us out of beta of Skymania is supposed to come out either late December of this year or early January of 2021. But we're only 0 0.7. So I don't know how they're going to pull this off. But if they can, congrats to them. Man. That's going to be it for the news for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And also, go ahead. if you want to join my Discord server, it will be in the description. Also, if you want to join... The Discord server for my co-op, that is also going to be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, my, you know, go follow me on all my socials in the description. Please subscribe, like the video. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in, in the next videos. So, bye.